right? The most important thing about being a successful batter is tracking. They throw the ball, you gotta find the ball. If you can't find the ball, you don't get to hit the ball. So that's probably the most important tracking. And that's important in jiu-jitsu as well, recognizing what they're doing and where it's coming from, right? But other than recognition, what is the most important thing about batting? Timing. Thank you, timing. And if you swing the bat early, that's just as bad as swinging the bat late. You don't get to make contact with the ball. And when I'm telling you to slow down, I'm not telling you to slow down for one movement. I'm not telling you that after you do the movement, let them back in. That's not what I'm telling you. If you have to let them back in, then you're going too fast. You don't let them back in. You move in pace with them. If you move in pace with them, then there's no letting them back in because they're right there with you at the whole time. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it develops the ability to catch people. Brown belt and black belt, the ability to walk people down disappears because they're tracking you before you even do your movements. They know where it's coming from, how it's coming, and they're looking for it before you even initiate the movement. And so as an upper belt, when I'm telling you to slow down so that you can be in time with them and flow roll, right? Not necessarily, they're not flow rolling, you're flow rolling. I guess flow rolling would be like when you both have this mutual respect, we're gonna go easy. But when you're an upper belt, it is far more important for you to toe the line on the movement, being in time, and mess it up sometimes. If you mess it up, sometimes you get to work your escapes with people that probably can't even take advantage of your mistakes anyway. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And so what you need to do is work on your timing so that you can catch grips, you can catch movements, you can make space and take up space in between moves. At brown belt and black belt, a lot of times at purple, you're not thinking about your moves anymore. Mm. You're thinking moves ahead. But how are you gonna make that space? How are you gonna get that grip? And what we've been working on in class is teaching you how to get a grip and move your body around it, right? But a lot of that comes with timing. Work on your timing. If you're so far ahead that you have to stop and let them catch up, that, that's, that's not timing. That's you being better than them and not working on anything. Now, ultimately, if we had a thousand students here, research tells us that every day you want to grapple with someone that's better than you, equal to you, and, 20 or, and worse than you. But the plus or minus is 20%. And it's because of the timing issue. Because their timing has to be within 20% for it to be viable, right? Mm -hmm. So what that says is if you're more than 20% better than the other person, you need to slow it way down for them. Is that ideal? Depends on what your ideals are. Is your ideal to work on your game, create space, learn your timing? Cool. There is a time for beating the crap out of each other too, right? No problem. But when you're paired with someone that you're significantly better in, that's not the time. Does that make sense? Sure. Right on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get against a little more rounds. No, we don't have to clap. <laughs>